when the fire was put out at the residence of Billy Herrero on Christmas Eve 1992. One of the few items to survive the fire was a large coffee table book titled How to Live a Victorious Life. I have had an amazing life, Herrero told a Miami magazine shortly before his death. I've enjoyed the company of dignitaries and degenerates. Billy Herrero was one of the world's first international drag superstars. He made a name for himself as, among others, the Brazilian Gypsy Rose Lee. At the height of his career, Herrero was making the equivalent of $35,000 per week performing in downtown Milwaukee. Herrero's rise was meteoric, especially given his upbringing in a Los Angeles orphanage. It's unclear what brought Herrero to Milwaukee in 1933, but at the age of 15, Herrero made his drag debut performing in the Third Ward's cut-rate cabarets. He was one of the youngest starlets at Club La Tosa, whose female impersonators were considered unusual entertainment for Milwaukee. But Milwaukeeans were here for it. After 14 long years, prohibition had ended. Drinking was legal again. Clubs like La Tosa stayed open until dawn to make up for lost time. Police attempts to enforce a 12.30 curfew failed. And beer was brewing again, pouring money and mirth into the city. Milwaukee was back on the map. The city that made beer famous made Herrero famous, too, but not without merit. His rendition of Gypsy Rose Lee, the burlesque star, was so perfect that audiences thought they were watching the real performer do her famous striptease. Herrero invited Lee to one of his shows, thinking she would be flattered by his portrayal. Instead, Gypsy Rose Lee was appalled to discover that Herrero was a female impersonator. She threatened to sue Herrero and anyone who booked him, ruining his career. Exiled from the drag circuit, Herrero moved to Florida, where he ran an antique store. As a female impersonator, Herrero had made more than a million dollars, but he died $500,000 in debt. The orphan had lived a life of luxury and wound up destitute. The star that shone so brightly in Milwaukee dimmed in Florida. Alone on Christmas Eve, depressed, going blind, facing eviction, and deeply in debt, Herrero set his home on fire and went up in flames.